Welcome back to the lab, day six, lockdown. Uh, apologies for those who watched Facebook Live this morning. Another terrible video from me. Hey, but it's all entertainment, right? And that's what it's for. Uh, no mucking around this morning. Let's get straight into what we're doing. We're going to make that coolant box. A reservoir, intercooler, cooling system, header tank, whatever we want to call it. So I'll just quickly show you where that's going, just in case you missed out on yesterday's video, and we'll get straight into it. Right, so directly above that pump there, that's the intake on the very top of that, that you've got in the middle of the screen right there. We're just going to put a tank here somewhere. As you can see, there's a, a baffle, or a shield, whatever you want to call it panel so there's no airflow going through to the radiator here anyway the radiator starts that's the header tank about there somewhere radiator core starts directly in line with that that's quite low in the car yes that's done because we've got our air intake system directly above it just there so we had to do that for reasons stuff and things filler cap's going to go here probably we'll put filler cap other side there and have radiator overflow on that side it would have been nicer, I'll freely admit, to have the radiator overflow on the side and the intercooler header tank on that side. It would have been better. The tube from the radiator cap overflow actually comes out in this direction, so that would have worked out better. However, we've got the pump on that side and it's going to be a nuisance to run a hose up over the air and across over to the air and it just adds to complexity. So, intercooler header tank there, radiator overflow tank there. All right, today's not being easy. I've actually burnt up a lot of the day, as you can see, and got not very far at all. We've been doing other things. So that's that's simple. I'll make another one of those pipes like I've, what I did whenever it was, yesterday or the other day. So that's just a, a tube. All right, diameter 20 mils, about 17.5 on the inside. That'll line up nicely with the bottom of our tank without obstructing airflow through the radiator. That's pretty cool, that's easy. The other thing that was easy and got done was fuel pressure regulator. Now turned that top around. That does actually work. Don't recall why that never worked out happening on the march. I might even revisit that and see if I can figure that out. I showed you the other day the 120, uh, 180 degree fitting there for that line. We need another one of those for the other line. I'm going to have a hunt around. I think I've possibly got one somewhere. Maybe there might be something in the boxes for the Gloria that I've, that I've missed. You can see now that's that hose has been made up. So that comes down the back of the engine bay from the bottom of that 180 degree fitting. Runs all the way through there. And then it pops out there with that 90 degree fitting onto there. I'm going to need either a 90 degree bulkhead fitting here. Or a union with a 90 degree hose end here. Or... Uh, bulk straight bulkhead fitting with a 90 degree union here, uh, hose end rather. It all just depends on what I can find kicking around. Can't really get any stuff in, not supposed to at least. Um, that cap fits through here nicely. That's fine. We could have that quite flush with that. That would be all right. But what's under here, which I didn't pay attention to, is the cable release bonnet release cable four bar bonnet release i should get my words around the right way shouldn't i so what that means is the top of the tank sinks down quite low it has to be like down there to be clear of that cable which means you wouldn't be able to get the cap on and off without making this hole quite a lot bigger than what it is i don't really want to do that so the next step there sorry just grabbing something a piece of tube it just so happens I've got a piece of tube which is perfect size for, no, I don't know how I'm going to hold that. Oh look, that just stays there like that. Magic. So that can go on there pretty much perfectly. And we'll do a short little extension, say about that high, onto the top of the tank. I'm desperately short of time today. We'll see what happens. This video is probably going to end up coming up a little bit later than normal because I'll get this tank done. I said I was going to. That's what I am going to bloody achieve today. So I better crack on with it. Fitting welded onto tube to extend us out of the muck. Let's just say muck because I'm running out of words and getting tired and 
flustered so there you go that's that done at least you know it's me that's welding it eh? like there's zero chance of any well it could be my wife i suppose might be the she might be a gun welder i'm certainly not as i said that gets us up out of this area here and gets the tank down below cable let's start making up the box that goes under there trusty pan brake about to be put to use see we can do this one-handed and not mess it up eh so you put your marks that you've made on the line where it gets folded more or less this isn't 100 percent critical this thing there's actually calculations to work out how much material you need based on the radius of the bend and they're not that hard and again i learned them years ago and i don't use them <laughs> you don't need to especially with things like this something a bit more complicated you might need to sorry about the um that's better lights play hav havoc on cameras at times oh it's doing it again and you just lift the handle up and go to 90 degrees bit of a guess mostly Bend it, take it out, check it. A little bit short in 90 degrees, isn't it? Give it a little bit more of a tweak and it'll be fine. Assuming this is actually even going to fit in the car. Plenty of material there. If we need to make it again, it's no biggie. Um, same thing as what we were talking about with... So you've gone too far now. Maybe, maybe not. Same thing as what I was talking about with the pipe. You tend to make these things just a fraction bigger than what you think you need. And then you can trim it back for these edges here. Not so much for that. Can't trim that, obviously. We well, can, but it's a hell of a headache. It involves cutting and re-welding. You don't want to be doing that. So... There's limitations to what you can do with these pan brakes because this edge will come around and smash into here eventually. As you can see, a few times I've pushed my luck and actually just forced the issue, which doesn't always work out well. But it's what you can do with what you've got. That needs a little bit more of a tweak. And we'll be good to and see if it fits in the car there are a couple of nuts that come through from the engine but hold the radiator support uh, the support bracket that's not bad that's pretty close to 90 degrees let's go see if it fits um, and I'm anticipating that one there that one there my plan is I'm actually going to cut a hole in the back of this and build a little plug that'll go in there so that they can be recessed into it. Ah, yeah, you see. The design is alright for dimensions, but you can't actually get it in there. That's a good up, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Yeah, so this is going to... Sorry if that's really noisy, because it's really close. This is going to fit in the end what's stopping it going in right now no it's not that yeah these distances are too far need to trim these back that distance along there it's not being too optimistic and it's preventing us actually getting it in there that's too perfect you see too perfect and you haven't got the room to get it around and get it in there so we need to trim those back or at least the top one yeah now we're thinking let's put a 45 across the top and then that'll just smoke in there okay a couple of tweaks on that design that's not even the original piece anymore um simply didn't work wasn't going to work very nicely so this has been altered to suit and now that's going to fit in there really well. So slightly different shape to what we had before in mind. It's only aluminium. It's about three or four bucks worth of material chewed up. Hasn't burnt a whole crap load of time. A little bit of time, but not too bad. We can absorb that at the moment anyway. So next thing that be the 
the fun thing to do I guess would be putting the spout on the top up here um, without fitting there either or it's probably more important to get that fitting on there get the ends on the tanks and get the mounts on and then we can put the spout on so we don't get it in the wrong spot spout fill a neck whatever you want to call it so that should look pretty nice once it's all polished up and we'll double check the grill fits soon I suppose <laughs> that would be a disaster nah it should be fine it should be heaps of room one day I'll get good at this that's not terrible it's actually pretty good pity you won't even be able to see it come on keep going okay so I've jumped the gun a little bit and I've um I've welded that on Although a little girl in the window is calling out for me so I better go and see what that's about I'll just quickly show you this and then I'll sort it out so there you go I've welded that onto there just the tiniest little tweak required here I've just bent that up for now I think I'm actually going to cut this section out and I'll replace it with a round hole of a similar profile just to make it look like the factory put all this stuff here and that goes on there like that it's gonna look magic time to go I think that's um, enough for today I'm running quite late normally I'd be sitting inside having my um, crackers and cheese and bloody cup of tea and getting all this stuff up on YouTube for you um, I'm actually out of crackers there's plenty of cheese but no crackers that's pretty nice isn't it I reckon it's not bad big A 12 fitting on there may not actually have a straight on there in the end it might have i don't know if you can get a 15 degree one or something just something to tuck it back into there a little bit i held it out from from this piece here that you're seeing behind so that you could get a spanner on and do it up nicely because if you put it right back there in the corner it's actually gonna be a sod to do up so that's not looking bad i can't call that finished yet in all honesty it's nearly there i was hoping to get that 100 percent done today I haven't leak tested it and I haven't put the mounts onto it yet so it's not finished yet actually mounts could be really simple if we wanted it to couldn't we look the grill mounts onto there so there's already something there something or is it there another one on the other side put two two tabs onto there with a riven up behind that one there one there and it would actually tie in quite nicely with everything else that's going on and wouldn't look out of place and it'd make it really easy to to fit and take it out who am i kidding that's going to be an absolute sod to take out if you have to get it out for something you're gonna to have to pull the grill off the car but hey that's all right the um i mean some of you'll be like why did you put that in there what a stupid idea having that in the front of the car like that it's a simplicity of the plumbing for that pump there that makes it really easy b most things are uphill to that point so it'll bleed here out of the system really well see we're trying to keep everything out of this engine bay despite it being a bit messy at the moment because there's no covers on any of the harness or anything like that and there's you know map sensor lying around we want to actually keep this with the bare essentials in here nothing in here that does not have to be in here and we're actually going to make some nice covers up over the top of the rocker covers and all that sort of carry on and get it as clean as we can possibly get it right okay hopefully hopefully that was a good video for you it's definitely going to be better than the facebook live one this morning if you didn't see that go have a look at that that'll make you laugh give you some entertainment i'm going to um do something very similar to that over here tomorrow for the radiator overflow in fact yeah i have to get that hose has to sneak on un underneath it and then down there but that should be right so i can make it exactly the same as that i'll just do a replica of that mirror image other side done and it'll be quite tidy and it'll look nice and uh yes i checked the grill does fit and you can't even see that in behind the grill so she's golden all right guys stay safe all that sort of carry on Catch us tomorrow. Cheers, bye.